Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, today we are doing a bold red lip. This is one of my favorite looks ever. I love red lips. It just kind of changes my whole mood, makes me walk a little taller, gives me some confidence. And in the summertime, I love rocking a red lip, especially a more warm kind of orangey red. I just think it's so flattering, so beautiful. So I'm gonna show you how to do this entire makeup look. I kept the skin very fresh very glowy, very bronzy, the eyes very simple, so that really the focus is on the lip. You can of course do this look however you like, this is just the way I like to do it, and this is just an easy way to do more of a dramatic look. You can keep everything else very simple, very like every day, and then just throw on a red lip. It's so easy, slick your hair back, like takes no time at all. So if you would like to, make sure you grab all of your makeup, grab your favorite red lipsticks, um, and put them out on your table and you can do your makeup with me. If not, sit back, relax, put your feet up, and uh, make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack, whatever you need to enjoy during this break from your day. Enjoy while you watch this video, and without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we are gonna start with the skin today. So I'm going to apply the Pacifica Alight Multi Mineral BB Cream. Now, I'm not going to use this as a foundation. It's technically a BB cream, but um, actually it says on here it can also be used as an illuminating primer. I'm going to use it as a base because, I don't know if you can tell, but my neck and my body are a lot deeper than my face. So I'm just going to use this to warm up the skin. It has extremely sheer coverage. So I'm actually going to take the shade 3, which I think is the deepest shade. Or maybe it's the second to deepest shade. I'm pretty sure this is the deepest one. As you can see, it's pretty dark. But I'm just going to take a tiny bit of this and just spread this across my face. It's going to look a little crazy at first, but it'll just bring some warmth to my skin. Because I applied some self-tanner this weekend. So my body is much darker than my face. All right, and then for actual foundation, I'm going to take my Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Foundation. I'm going to use this in the shade Medium Beige 12. I think this should match me. And for me personally, when I am doing a bold lip, like a red lip, I really like to keep my makeup very fresh. And I actually don't like to do a lot of coverage. I like the skin to almost contra contrast the bold lip by being very minimal and just very light and fresh. So that's kind of the vibe we're going for with the makeup today. So I'm just going to blend this out with a sponge. All right, and then for concealer, I'm just going to take my Flower Light Illusion Concealer. I use this in the shade Light Medium. And I'm just taking this on the under eye right out here um but yeah i don't i'm not gonna go overboard with concealer not that i really ever do but i'm gonna keep it pretty minimal and just only apply it to the areas that i feel like i need coverage but i'm just gonna let the rest of my skin breathe All right, so I wanna do some cream, bronzer, contour. So for that, I'm gonna use my Kai Parami Contour Palette. I am so obsessed with this palette. I love this, so good. So I actually use this in the shade Dark. I'm gonna take this shade right here, and I'm just taking it on a BK Beauty 106 brush. Just kinda of load up my brush, and then just tap off the excess. And then I'm just going to bronze up the skin. I am going to be going in with a powder bronzer. Um, but this is just kind of my base. Y'all know how I love to layer my bronzers. And actually, I'm going to take a little dab of the deepest shade in the palette. Just like just a little just tap off the excess and I'm actually going to use that on my forehead because I'm quite tan right now just with all the base products that I used um, 
the shades are a little deeper, so I'm finding that that lighter shade is not showing up a lot, but that's actually showing up really nicely. And it's a nice, um, more like red undertone. I don't know if you'll see. Like a chocolatey, it's a true chocolatey brown, kind of slightly red undertone. So I find that it just really looks like a natural tan. Actually, I'm going to take just a tiny bit of that right on the backs of my cheeks oh wow that looks so nice and I'm gonna take a tiny bit of that lighter shade and just run that down my nose and I'm using a BK Beauty 205 all right we've got a lot of creams going on on the face so I'm gonna take my Danessa Myricks evolution powder this is in the shade 2 just gonna pat out any creasing and then start with my under eyes and then just slowly start to work the powder across the rest of my face and then for more bronzer I'm gonna use my Kosas baked bronzer I'm not sure how this is gonna translate on my skin right now because um, I've got more color but we'll try it this is the shade light and I'm going to use it on this Ilia Finishing Powder Brush and just run this right across that cream bronzer. And I like this one because it has a sheen to it, so it's just going to give the skin some bronzy color and then also a little bit of glow. Alright, and then for highlighter, I'm going to do some cream highlighter. And I really want to use these Minori... Ooh, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Minori Beauty Cream Highlighters. Um, I have the shade Golden, which looks really pretty. It's like a nice golden champagne. And then I have the shade Champagne, which is a little bit more cool toned, like a true champagne. Um, so I'll swatch both of these for you. All right, so this is the shade Champagne, and this is the shade Golden. Once you blend them out, you can't really see a whole lot of the color or anything. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Golden. I'm just going to use my finger. Just pat this across my cheeks, a little on my nose. That really pretty, very sheer and more on the natural side, which is right up my alley. And they seem to kind of dry down to a little bit more of a matte finish. So for blush, I'm going to do cream blush as well. Um, I was just sent a bunch of these blushes from Rare Beauty. These are called their melting blushes. I have her like liquid blushes that come with the doe foot. I purchased one of those when the brand launched, but I never tried her melting blushes. So they look so satisfying in the pot. I love the packaging. It's like, it looks like a little macaron or something. Um, but yeah, really cute. So this is the shade Nearly Neutral. So I was thinking of using this. But I was also thinking of using this cream blush from Jane Iredale. This is her Glow Time Blush Stick in the shade Glorious. It almost looks kind of like rusty, like a terracotta. These, the second you touch them, they melt on contact. Maybe that's why they're called melting blushes. <laughs> it's a really cool formula. They feel very oily. All right, so this is Glorious from Jane Iredale, and this is Nearly Neutral from the Rare Melting Blush. So I think I'm gonna do Jane Iredale just because I love this kind of rusty tone and I'm really wanting something very bronzy on the skin. Almost like doesn't look like I have any blush or like any real color. I just want it to be more of that like bronzy, sun-kissed look. So I'm gonna use a brush for this. Um, I'm gonna take that brush that I used with my cream bronzer. This is the BK Beauty 106. I'm gonna pick up some of this blush and then just pat this right on the cheek. So for the eyes, I'm gonna keep them really simple. I just like a very simple, clean eye when I do a red lip. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my Kosas Baked Bronzer and a large fluffy brush. This is a Refer 27. I'm just gonna pick up some of that bronzer and just fluff this all over the entire eyelid from lash line to my brow. I'm also going to take this on my lower lash line. Alright, and then actually, I'm going to add a little bit of my blush. 
to my eyes. I'm just going to use my finger. Just pop that right on the lid. And that's it for the eyes. Just a little wash of color. Just so they don't look veiny and just got a little bit of warmth on there. So I'm going to go ahead and curl, curl my lashes. And then for mascara, I actually have a brand new mascara that I'm going to try today. So this is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean Waterproof Mascara. It comes in this gorgeous, like, minty green packaging. So this is what the wand look like looks like. I wanted to show you before I dipped it into the tube. That very interesting wand. Um, so yeah, we're going to try this out. I'm really trying to test out drugstore mascaras and find some good ones. Um, so we're going to test this one out today. I got waterproof because waterproof holds a curl a lot better than a regular non-waterproof formula. So this is the mascara. I will say I'm actually quite impressed. Um, it holds a curl beautifully. I did not have to go back in and recurl my lashes. The only, my only thing right now that I'm not loving is it's very, very messy. Um, upper lashes, lower lashes, especially the lower lashes, it gets everywhere. So I had a little bit of issues with that. However, I will probably love this mascara after it dries out just a tad. It's just a very wet mascara, so it's just really, really messy. We're going to move on to the fun part, which is the lip. I did want to mention before doing a lip, especially a bright lip, um, I would try and remove any like little remaining bit of lip balm. I also went in and took some of my powder on my brush and just went around the edges of my mouth. That way there's nothing oily or anything around my mouth so when I'm doing lip liner and I'm really trying to perfect the edge it just it's a little easier so that's just how I like to do mine and when I do a bold lip I like to go more matte because it's just more long wearing it's just easier to wear I don't have to worry about it sliding around all over my face so I just removed my lip balm applied a little bit of powder and then we're going to go into the lips so I actually have quite a few lips that I'm I'm still kind of deciding between um so I was originally and I still might. I was originally going to use the Bite, the new Bite Power Move Soft Matte Lipstick in Hot Tomato. I actually wore this this weekend. It's so pretty. I thought it was going to be more of a warm red, but it's definitely a true like cherry red. So it's not warm. It's I feel like it leans a little bit more cool toned, but still a really gorgeous red. It's super comfortable, very easy to apply, matte, but not like harsh on the lips. An old favorite that I've used for years is the Milk Makeup Lipstick in the shade Name Drop. This is a true more like warm orangey red. Um, so I'll put it next to the Bite one. So you can see it's got a little bit more warmth to it. Um, really, really great formula as well. Matte, but still very comfortable. Um, and then, let's see. Oh, this is really nice as well. This is the... Saint Cosmetics Lipstick. I don't really know what these are called. It's their lipstick in the shade Las Vegas. This is, um, again, more of that like orangey red. Actually, wow, that is like the exact same shade as the Milk one. So this is Bite, this is Milk, and then that's the Saint Cosmetics one. All right, so one from the drugstore is from the brand Pixie. And it's in the shade Caliente Coral. This has been a favorite of mine for years as well. Really, really rich, more orangey red. Love, love that. And this formula is really nice. It's a liquid lip, but it's very comfortable. And then uh, I also have Fenty's Freckle Fiesta, which I talk about all the time. This is just a holy grail of mine. It's this really pretty, like, true rusty orange red. Definitely more orange out of the bunch. But, oh, it's so beautiful. I wear this all the time. I love this color. And then I also have this La Rouge palette that's got these really pretty red tones in here. Let's do the Pixie one because that's the one that's just like screaming at me on my hand. Um, and it's a nice drugstore option. So if y'all want to 
pick up a fun red lip, you don't have to spend a ton of money either. So again, this is the Pixie. I think these are called their Matte Last Liquid Lips. This is in the shade Caliente Coral. All right, so this is this gorgeous lipstick, so easy to apply. You don't have to keep like applying over and over again. Like you get instant color right when you swipe it on. So definitely check these out at the drugstore. Um, these are fantastic. I love this. Actually, this makes me want to pick up more shades. Um, I forgot how much I love this formula. All right, and then for lip liner, uh, this is actually the only red lip liner that I own, so I'm going to use this today. It's actually a good formula. Um, I think there are more affordable options at the drugstore, um, but I'm going to use this today. This is the Fit Glow Lip Pencil. I don't know the name of this. Um, it's in the shade red. So I'm just going to use this to perfect the edges of my lip line. All right, guys, so that completes this bronzy, summery red lip look. I hope you enjoyed. This is definitely, like, one of my favorite looks to create. I love a red lip. If I could do my makeup one way for the rest of my life, it would be a red lip. Like, no eyeshadows, nothing. A red lip, yes. I love red lips. I think they're just such a confidence booster. And they can, they're a really great way to just take your look from 0 to 100 with the most minimal effort. So I hope you enjoyed this look today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. You are